All right, in this part of our series covering space infantry, we're gonna go over random number generation, and you're gonna use random number generation for almost everything that you do in the game, whether it's performing attacks or skill checks or what have you. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this in the game. For our series, we're gonna stick with the dice, met uh, dice method, but there are chits that you can use as well. The original version of Space Infantry was a chit pull game for the number generation. The, chit, uh, the number chits will be coming in this version of the game. So if you wanna stick with that, you will still have that option, but now you will be able to use dice as well. And like I said, for my tutorial series, it will be dice that I'll be using to generate my numbers. Now, if you wanna just use a simple D6 system, one through six, nothing fancy, all you have to have is a single D6 and you'll roll that when making your checks. And obviously whatever number you get will be the number that you uh, have for your random number generation. However, you do have the option of doing what's called extended dice. And this gives you the ability to use two D6 to potentially get either a result of one through six like normally, or you can potentially get the results of zero or seven, uh, seven or eight as well. I know you're thinking to yourself, okay, how do I get a result of zero or seven or eight with a D6? All right, so here's how it's gonna be. You're still gonna roll your original dice. So let's say this is your original dice, but now when you're doing the extended dice system, there are a couple of specific numbers that you're looking for. If you get a two through five on your result, that's it. You just got a two through five, all right, whichever number you rolled. However, if you get a one or a six, then that's when your second dice, your white dice, is going to come into play. And depending on what you rolled, either the one or the six, will determine on whether or not it's potentially a zero or a seven or eight. So let's say we rolled a one on our black die. Our colored die came up as a one. When you have that result, you're going to roll your d6, your white d6, and the result that you're looking for is a one or a two. If you get a one or a two on your white die after rolling a one on your black die, that's going to be considered a result of zero. However, if you roll the three through six, like uh, normal on the white die, then the one is going to stand. So it's just the potential to be a zero. It's not a guaranteed zero. So similar circumstance, let's say we rolled a six on our colored die instead. Again, you're going to be rolling your white die and also looking for a one or a two as your result. In this case though, if you get a one or a two as a result, you will be adding that result to your original black die. So you roll the six, that's the point where you roll your white die. Let's say you get a one, that result is a seven. If you roll a two on your white die, that result's gonna be an eight. And then again, if you roll a three or higher on your white die, the six is gonna stand as your result. 